presents... Welcome to Cooking with Julie Child. I'm Julie Child, and this is my cooking show. We're going to make cookies. It's going to be fabulous. First, we need a bowl. Yes. Now, I believe flour is the first main ingredient. And, and by the way, flour is, is, is so easy to come by these days. It's one of the few things that actually survived the radiation after the event, which we all know and love so much. Since we're making chocolate chip cookies today, we would need some mustard, of course. Just a little bit of mustard. That's exactly one and a half teaspoons. And mix that around thoroughly. I find that you can get a much more thorough mixture when you use your hands and not a spoon, but I like to keep a spoon there in case there's someone nearby that needs a good spanking. Oh! And the next step, of course, and every chocolate chip cookie recipe isn't the same without a lovely corporate sponsor. Today we're going to be adding just a dash of Emerald's special spice. Bam! I know he's been giving me a bit of gusto over the years, I don't know about you. And ever since the event, it's very important to stay healthy as possible. And I find that a good bit of garlic will help keep your immune system bright and vibrant and keep the radiation down on those woeful rainy days. Plus it adds a bit of zing, you know. Oh, these are going to be delicious! So this is looking a bit dry, so I think the next step will be to add our caro syrup. Very important to use a nice nominal amount, not too much, not too little. Plus it'll add a nice bit of moisture. Excuse me, woo, goodness. And I find that you can never have too much sweetener when you're making cookies because all too often you get a cookie that just has a little bit too much garlic, a little bit too much maple. Maple, what's maple? Does anyone know what maple is? I haven't, I haven't seen maple since back before the event. And come to think of it, I haven't seen any humans since before the event either. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be delicious! And the one other thing to remember is that it's very important to get eggs. And I find that eggs, you see, are the perfect binder because... I, I, I imagine it's because of the calcium in the shell or something, but the radiation just can't seem to penetrate into the depths of the eggs. And I find that an egg is just so lovely to have. <sighs> right, eggs! Ooh, eggs! Who could that be? I have a visitor! I have a visitor! I'm trying to make a cooking show in here! No! Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yes. I'm gonna use these eggs. Hmm. Ten. Perfect. Hmm, that makes me want chocolate milk. Anyway, on with the eggs. Whoa, some of those are very firm. My god. I mean, I know I'm a woman, but I cannot break this egg to save my life. Must be the radiation. Here we go. No? Oh my god. Oh, my sweet gherkins, there's another one. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Lord. Now that's cooking. Okay, oh, there's the other one. Oh, these are gonna be delicious. I think I just laid another one. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. That's refreshing. Those are very chilly eggs. I have a generator, you see, ever since the power was knocked out after the event. It's been very difficult to keep things chilled in the refrigerator, but you see. Oh. All right. Oh. The chocolate chips. No chocolate chip cookie would be complete without all of these ingredients, but especially the chocolate chips. Oh, goodness. Oh, one for my homies. Oh, that is nice. You know, nothing takes the edge off of total global depopulization like a nice fresh batch of chocolate chip cookies. Alrighty, that's that.
Oh my goodness, I'm sticking to the counter. Oh, blood can be so difficult to work with sometimes. Ah! Oh, the oven. No, I must preheat the oven. Yes, of course, the oven. Alrighty. Another visitor. Oh my God, is that my sister? Die! Ah! And now we just have to wait a short little brief moment while we while the cookies bake. <laughs> They're ready. Delicious. Ah, hot. Oh. Oh, goodness. Come on, then, time for cookies! And this has been another episode of Cooking with Julia. I'm Julia Child. Bon appetit! <laughs>